Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video, I am going to create a bootable USB drive with the vanilla operating system. So first of all, I'm going to download the vanilla operating system and this is the website, it's vanillaos.org. And in this site, there's a lot of documentations here. You can click on documentations and you'll get a lot of explanations about this operating system. So I'm just gonna download the operating system. It's gonna take me to GitHub. I'm gonna click on it. So this is the latest version. I just need to scroll down the page. So I'm gonna download the ISO file. This is the vanilla operating system ISO file and it's the first option. It's about 1.76 gigabytes in size. So I'm gonna click on it and it's downloading. This is the documentation and these are the requirements. You need a flash drive with at least eight gigabytes of space. So to install it, you need a 64-bit processor computer. You need a drive with at least 50 gigs of space and at least four gigs of RAM, but they recommend eight gigabytes of RAM. And they also said it's good to have secure boot enabled. Now to create a bootable USB stick, you can use Rufus Ventoy or Balena Etcher. So I'm gonna be using this Balena Etcher. I'm gonna click on it. So I'm gonna just click on the download Etcher tab. So it's gonna take me to the downloads here. So I'm gonna be creating this bootable USB drive in a Windows 11 computer. So I'm gonna download this Etcher software. So the first option is the one that I'm gonna download. Etcher for Windows and it's the installer. I'll click on download. It's about 148 megabytes in size. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna click agree and it's installing. It's going to create an icon on the desktop. This is the icon here. So I already downloaded the vanilla ISO file. I'm gonna click on flash from file. So the ISO file is in my downloads folder. I'm gonna click open. Now you have to click on select a target, which is the USB drive. So I only have one USB drive right now. I'm just gonna select it. Click on select one. I'm gonna click on flash, and this is gonna create the bootable USB drive. It's validating and it's completed. So now the bootable USB drive is ready. So I'm ready to install the vanilla OS. So I'm booting up from the USB. I'll select the USB, hit enter. So I'm gonna click on install vanilla OS. So you could choose your language here. I'm gonna leave it as English. I'm gonna select English US. I'll go to the next date and time region. I'll change it to America, the zone. I'll select New York. I'll go next. And here it says select a disk. So I have one disk. I'm gonna select this, click configure. So this is the disk allocation. And it says choose how to install vanilla OS on your drive. I am gonna select entire disk. I'll click apply click next I'll click confirm changes so here is where I need to create a user provide details for your user account for the name I'll just type fr the username I'll type tech and I'll type in a password I'll go to the next page so now I'm going to select install vanilla OS and it's installing So this is going to take a while. So it's done. I'm going to click reboot now. I'll click restart. So you can remove your USB device and then restart. Okay, I'm going to log in. I'll type in my password. I'll click on let's start. So this is the color scheme. You can change it to dark mode, light mode. I'll click next. So this is the package manager. It says choose one or more package managers to install. I'm going to leave it both on. I'm going to click next. So this is the application sections and it says choose which applications to install. This is the core applications and there's a tab here. I'll click on it and here's where I can see a list of all the applications 
I would like to install. So I can choose any one of these. I can turn it on or off. So there's calendar, characters. I'm going to leave it on. This is also Office. It's called LibreOffice and, and this is compatible to Microsoft Office. I'm going to leave it on. There's also Common Utilities and these are lists of the applications that would be installed if I choose to. I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to click Next. And this is the time shift and it says choose whether to install time shift to create snapshots of your system so i'm just going to skip it restricted codex i'm going to skip and these are extra settings i'm going to leave it as is and i'm going to click next so i have to type in a password because authentication is required to install some of these applications and it's installing all the applications that I choose. So it depends how many applications you choose. That's how long it's going to take. Okay, it's all done. I'm going to click on reboot now. I'll click restart. So I'm going to log in and it's finalizing. It says your device will be ready soon. And it's done. I'll click close. So on the top left, there's activities. And when I hover the mouse over it, I can see the taskbar here. So this is the web browser. This is the photos icon. This is the files icon, software, help. This is the console and this is the show application. I'm going to click on a web browser. This is the software icon. So there's explore, install and update. So here is where you can choose more software that you would like to install. You can click on anyone, for example, learn or develop. I'll click on learn and there's a whole list of software that you can choose and install. And this is installed. And this is a whole list of applications and software that are installed in this vanilla OS. There's updates. This is the help icon. This is the console icon. So this is the show applications. I'm going to click on it and these are a whole list of the applications. This is the LibreOffice that was installed. Also on the top right, there's the power, there's the network icon, the speaker icon. I can click on any one of those and here I can adjust the volume, I can adjust the brightness. So the computer I installed this vanilla OS is also Wi-Fi capable. There's also Bluetooth, night light, dark mode, airplane mode. I can also right click on the desktop and I can click change background and this is the style and this is the background I can also add my own picture here so on the left side there's the network Bluetooth appearance notification here is where you can make adjustments to your computer there's users I'll click on users and here is where you can add other users I'll click on the date and time and under time format I'm going to change this I'm going to select AM slash PM I'll right click on the desktop click on display settings so I can change the resolution here this is orientation landscape there's portrait right left there's also a night light so that's how you can download and install vanilla os from a usb so i hope this video was helpful to you i thank you for watching and i thank you for subscribing